So now that we've seen the non-self-starting Hans method, uh, the these other the, these third and fourth order methods that, that we're going to introduce now are, are really uh, very similar and 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 pretty straightforward um, extensions of the previous. So uh, recall that we had the um, the second order open Newton Coates formula, uh, which was um, the midpoint rule. And now we're just going to move that up one um, one order and get the third order open Newton Coates formula, and and that's what this is. This is the Newton Coates integration formula, and so we've got y i plus one is equal to y uh, i minus three, and, and so this is goes back to what I was just saying. We're using y i minus three um, and f i minus one, f i minus two. So so we're we're using um, we're using these values of of prior, so we're depending on on prior information. So these are all non-self-starting methods, uh, and then so this is the predictor uh, for um, for Milne's method, and then we have the corrector, and the corrector is uh, uses a closed uh, a closed integration formula. It uses uh, Simpson's one-third rule. So then we, in the same way as we did with Hans method, the iterative Hans method, we keep iterating and we keep refining prediction, correction, prediction, re re correction, uh, until we improve our estimate enough. Now we don't want to uh, refine it forever. If, if we have to use too many steps, then maybe we should just uh, decrease our step size. If we got a small enough step uh, step size, uh, we won't have to do much prediction correction. But if we have a large step size, we'll have to do a lot of predictor or corrector. Predictor or corrector. So um, there's sort of this balance between having a, a, a large enough step size that you're efficient, um, uh, but a short enough step size that you don't have to predict correct uh, forever. Uh, then, so we similar similar to this, we have the fourth order Adams me Adams method, and so we have this predictor um, using the Adams Bash fourth open integration formulas, and I'll show you those in a minute. And then we have the corrector. Uh, based on the Adams Moulton uh, closed integration formulas. So uh, the best way to probably introduce the Adams Adams Bashforth and Adams Moulton formulas um, are just just may, we probably could have introduced them in in the integration uh, in the section on integration because they're nothing more uh, than integration formulas. However, um, uh, they operate a little bit differently than Newton's Coates formulas. However, they're 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 analogous. So we've got closed uh, open formulas, and and in similar we have opens atoms. The open formulas are atoms bash forth. We have the closed Newton Coates formulas. That's Simpson one third rule, Simpson three eighths rule, and so forth. We similarly have the atoms molten methods, and and we're looking just here at the fourth order atoms molten uh, and atoms bash forth. But uh, they they have other orders uh, of the same method, and let's just look then here. Let me move down here. So I I drew this to basically this basically depicts the difference between Newton Coates and Adams Bashforth methods. So Newton Coates integration formula. So this is open Newton Coates open integration formula. So what we do is we take three points, and we I'm, I'm showing those points uh, here here and here so we take these three points and we evaluate the function there and then we and then we fit we have our integration formula and we integrate out beyond uh, those those three points so all of the shaded area all the area that I've shaded here is uh, is area that we're in it we're finding the integral of now let's contrast that with the Adams bash forth uh, method so this we, we, in the Adams bash, the Adams formula we're gonna we're gonna present. They use they use a fourth order, um, and so they evaluate the function here at four points. But uh, and so this is the open method. So they evaluate the function at four points, but they don't they don't find the integral of all of this. They only look at the integral of this one little portion here between x i and x i plus one. So that's the difference between Newton Coates formulas and, and the Adams. Uh, bash fourth or Adams molten formula. So similarly, let's look here. We have the Simpson one third rule, and uh, you should remember what that was. And we we're just fitting a quadratic here uh, to find the integral under both of these sections here. Well, with the Adams molten closed formula, so we same thing. We we fit uh, a polynomial, but we fit a cubic here, 
and uh, and then instead of looking at the integral here and the integral here and the integral here and the integral under all three, we just look at the integral under uh, the last one. So that's the closed Adams molten formulas. And again, uh, these uh, we we could have lower, higher order versions of all of these. We we've seen that before, um, at least for the uh, Newton Coates formulas. But uh, there's these. Um, but those are the those are the integration formulas that I show, and those are the formulas that go into these into these two methods. Now, uh, another thing in comparison, the Milne's method, the fourth order Adams method. So normally you would think, well, Milne's method, that's the way to go. We're using uh, the Newton Coates integration formulas; those are reliable, um, and and we're just everything's all set. Plus. With the with the Adams method, actually you have a fourth order. You have to fit a fourth order method just to get the same accuracy that you would get uh, with Milne's method. And so, in a lot of situations, that is true. Uh, Milne's method is is better, but there are some situations uh, where we get instability. Um, so we get instability uh, in the problem, and uh, and that that makes Milne's method um, not so good. And the specific problem with Milne's method is that the uh, corrector is unstable. Uh, this, this Simpson one-third rule as a corrector uh, is unstable, uh, but, but we could get around that by developing um, a stable corrector, and uh, that's called uh, Hamming's method. So he he developed a, a stable corrector to go along with the the open Newton Coates uh, third order predictor and and so then that was all good except uh, Adams the Adams methods are are just still just generally used a bit more because they have a be better stability characteristics even though uh, when Milne's method is stable it, it does perform better so there we have the Milne's method and the fourth order Adams method.